Okay, next up we're going to build out our PKI lab deployment with two domains, two uh, issuing CAs that are also root CAs and the www, the CRL server. Uh, not a recommended arrangement, but I want to just create an abbreviated PKI environment for a very specific uh, cross-forest uh, auto-enrollment scenario that we're going to do. In reality, you'd want an offline root CA uh, issuing servers, and then you'd want your CRLs hosted separately from your PKI environment. So we're firing off Active Directory at Tucson DC1. I cropped out a lot of Active Directory paint drying scenes, so I hope you don't mind. We want to get Tucson ICA, the issuing CA server, ready to join the domain. So once Active Directory uh, for AA Co is ready, then uh, Tucson ICA1 will be able to join AA Co domain. Phoenix DC1 is the domain controller for BB Co domain. And we're going to get ready to install Active Directory and configure it. One of my best recommendations for learning how to use PowerShell is install a more recent version of PowerShell that comes with the integrated development, the ISE, IDE. It basically gives you a workspace with built-in help for the commands, showing you what parameters are available. Obviously with PowerShell you can use the get help command name command as well. Uh, that's something I do when I'm learning about a new command and then I'll just put it in notepad so I can see the various parameters and start trying to figure out how I would utilize those parameters in my work. Okay. Tucson is done installing Active Directory modules, group policy and DNS included. And we're going to install the first domain controller in a forest. So you can see install ADDS forest, a, a co local, and uh, some other parameters in there. I'm just going to chew on that. Again, I'm cropping out the paint drying scenes here. going to look at some of the tasks that we have ahead of us. We're still going to create uh, organizational units, user objects, group objects. For the uh, PKI environment, we need a group to assign permissions to the OCSP servers that would contain the servers that are OCSP servers. So we'll see that's part of that. And of course, we need to join Tucson ICA to the domain before we create that group and try to add that computer as a member. So we're waiting for Active Directory to finish installing. Waiting, waiting. Well, I could have cropped a little more paint out of that scene, but there we get the Dear John notice saying I'm about to be signed off. Okay, so AA Co domain, single, uh, single domain forest is built out. And we're getting on Tucson ICA1 going to join the domain once we're sure that uh, Tucson DC one's back up. Checking in on the Phoenix DC for BB Co domain and we're installing that new AD Forest. Install ADDS Forest BB Co. Alright we're back on the Tucson DC like I already outlined, we're going to complete some of these. There's some also some DNS there. We're putting in DNS for our PKI, for our CRL uh, URL, our OCSP URL for the PKI environment. Tucson ICA1 is joining the domain so that we can uh, process that uh, group creation and group membership request in the script. Coming up on halfway through the video, if you've made it this far, you're doing alright.
let's check out and see how things are looking. We just want to make sure that Tucson ICA1 has indeed joined the domain and we can start manipulating the object related to that computer. So we can see that Tucson ICA1 is a computer object in the domain. So we're going to go ahead and fire off this script. We're going to see a few errors. I'm just going to warn you, I did a lot of heavy search and replacing these scripts, kind of sanitizing them for this video. So there's some errors in here. We're going to troubleshoot those. Uh, yeah, you can see I didn't give that guy a password. So the error basically in the PowerShell script is saying the password doesn't meet the domain complexity. So I'm going to reach back. I can see, oh, I didn't even put in a, a password. So it's no wonder it failed. And here we're going to add the password for a, a co-user and take another shot at this. There we go. We talked about the DNS. Oh, and we also have a forwarder uh, in DNS to BBCO local. That's so that we can create a trust later on for that cross-forest auto-enrollment scenario we've been talking about. But let's just, I think we're going to take a look back here and uh, see. Yeah. Make sure to refresh your view because things change. Everything looks like it's in place here. And we're going to get back to... Uh, finishing up the BB Co domain here just a moment checking out our DNS now we have an internal zone B A B A A Co dot local and then we also have an external zone that was probably be hosted split brain B A A Co dot com and that has our uh, PKI URL for the CRLs and the uh, OCSP server and that would be published externally as well in a split brain DNS. Okay, so we're back to BBCO, Phoenix DC1. Pretty much the same thing here. Going to finish up those uh, remaining steps for Active Directory to have the computers, the users, and the groups configured for our scenario. We're three quarters of the way there. Hang on. Don't worry, I've cropped out a lot of the paint drying scenes. We're going to see two errors in this script. Uh, again, that was from a search replace uh, mistake. We did recall that we needed to add that password to the user. So we'll, we will have taken care of that here. Uh, Phoenix ICA1 is joining the domain. Simple command, add computer, domain name, restart. It's a lot easier than clicking around in the GUI. Okay, so we're just checking to make sure everything's in place for the final script run. Yeah, Phoenix ICA1's in the domain, so we can run the script. We added the password for the user so that we won't get that error. And yet somehow I still managed to get a couple of errors in the running of this script. Here we go. Oh, group scope. What happened to the group scope? Group scope. Oh, we searched replaced global <laughs> and replaced it with BB Co. So that broke the group scope script. So we run that again. Copy. Paste couldn't add the computer to the group because the group didn't exist. That was the second error. We actually get another error here because we try to recreate an OU that was already created in the last step. So when you see errors, you got to troubleshoot them and make sure you haven't messed things up. And we're coming back in to check. Got our conditional forward or back to AA Co. so we can do the trust. Look in Active Directory users and computers. Make sure to refresh your view because we just made a lot of changes. Phoenix ICA1's in the computer objects OU. 
security groups created for the OCSP servers. Again, that's to apply permissions to a certificate template for OCSP. And then we have our user account, regular user account created. The scenario is thus complete. AECO, BBCO, both with issuing servers for PKI. And thank you very much.